Good morning, everybody. I'm already in the parking lot this morning. Just wanted to come on real quick and share something with you from a slightly different perspective. You know, as a um, as a believer in Christ, a lot of times in my business, I will uh, I have to make sure that when I teach inside of corporations, that um, faith is not a part of it. Although I am a woman of faith and everything I do. Um, comes from that, you know, you have to be strategic in the workplace and wherever God has assigned you. And so let me, let me say this and then I'll continue. The Lord will bless the works of your hand. So I'm speaking this morning to you as a Christian business owner, the Lord will bless the works of your hand, but you are anointed when you discover your purpose, you are anointed for your purpose. He will bless the works of your hand. So as a leader and as an entrepreneur, whatever those those things are, while you're in that discovery phase, God will bless it because he blesses the works of your hand. But once you discover your purpose and once you can operate in it and you're not ashamed of who you are and what you're called to do, you are anointed for your purpose. That's your assignment, whether it's in the marketplace, excuse me, whether it's in the body of Christ, no matter where it is, you are anointed for that purpose. And to me, being a Christian business owner does not mean that I only do business with Christians. What that does is a title for me. It is who I am. It, it speaks more to how I operate my business. That when you deal with me as a Christian business owner, you're going to get a woman of integrity. You're going to get somebody that can stand behind their word. You're going to get somebody that has your best interest at heart. Because I'm going to run my business according to my faith because it's not a title that I put on, but because it's who I am. So when, if you, I'm speaking to other Christian business owners out there today, don't get frustrated that you're not supported just by Christians. You miss the whole purpose behind that. That is who you are. And it shows how you operate your business and it should be with integrity. There should be a difference in your business and then just somebody else's business because the Lord will bless the works of your hand. But you are anointed to operate in your purpose. And you operate in that purpose with integrity. You operate in that purpose to the fullness. You operate in that purpose with excellence. You operate in your purpose because you are anointed to be there. Everything you've done up to this to this day has prepared you for this moment. You already do not allow fear to prevent you from taking your business to the next level. Today is the day. You can do it.